Hey guys, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have the brand new E-Flight 64 millimeter uh, uh, A10 Thunderbolt. The reason we're out here today is just to kind of give you guys a grass demo. Uh, be sure to check at the end of the video and below. Um, uh, we've got links um, for uh, the other flight demos. I got an unbox, a build, two runway flights, one with and without the ordinance. Um, and we also have affiliate links. As you know, we just started doing this with Horizon and so forth. So um, if you guys like the videos, it's helped you out. You decide to get one if you purchase through our links that really helps us out a whole bunch so we do appreciate that today we're at the grass uh, first time i've had it at the grass field and the reason i've got the missiles on it today actually is because i want to actually have this thing we're in a little bit more of a confined area spencer's on the camera he's a he's helping me out today so uh but uh we're in a little more of a confined area than we're used to but there is actually plenty of space i want the missiles on there to help me slow it down a little bit so uh because the missiles do help with that even though the plane is still 100 mile an hour airplane it's still fast as, uh, as heck. So let's boot this thing up. Today also I have my telemetry. This is the first time I found a good way. And Spencer, if you want to zoom in on there, I've got my Smart 3200 battery in there, but I got my telemetry module in here. The only reason that this Smart battery doesn't have telemetry through here uh, is because I think, because I don't have a, there's not a Smart receiver, I think, or a Smart ESC in here to get the telemetry. So I'm going to be using my separate module in here, and we're going to go ahead and boot this all up, check my landing gear, make sure it's down, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in here and let the AS3X initialize. It'll go through its control check twice. There it goes, once. There it is, twice. So the safe select is active, even though I'm not going to be using it at all. And we'll go ahead and we'll get this on. Now, um, I do have the CG. Uh, Spencer, if you want to zoom in on here, it, they, me they measure it, or they say in the book, 55 uh, millimeters uh, to 75 or 70. And 70 is about here. 55 is right about on this line. Now, your sticker, again, might be in a different place. So 55 seems to work great. 55 to 60, this plane is pretty much uh, rock solid. So let me get my telemetry module going let's see here we'll get that up and rolling make sure what we got in there is good uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to activate um, the uh, the uh, AS3X so notice the gyro AS3X is not really doing anything you, ha you just activate it by going above quarter throttle once you get above four quarter throttle it's activated until you unplug the battery so if you want to look at, yeah, those are twin 64s. They're 11 blades. They're very efficient and they sound great. So now that we got the flight controls initialized, you can see if you want to get in on the elevator or the ailerons, you can see like the ailerons, now they're moving. Same thing with the elevator. Elevator's moving, rudders are moving. So it's providing the stabilization. It'll stay on there uh, all the way up until um, uh, we disconnect the battery. So, but you have to come above quarter throttle once to engage it. All right, we'll get it run up, and then Spencer, now let's do a flight take, a, flight take a quick look. Hey, he's a flight, he's, he's, uh, Spencer's studying to be a flight instructor here, so <laughs> let's see. Um, but Good practices. You got 85 amps. You can see our voltage right there. So that's where we're going to start with 32, just to give you all an idea. Okay. Usually, Spencer, I'm using, um, I'm using this telemetry module, but I hadn't used it the last couple days because there's so much stuff in there. So, uh, and it, it fits... I tested it. it. It fits. Yeah, you want to make sure they go the right way, too. That's right, left, up, down, left, right. So, and everything's good. I checked the flight controls or the ball linkages and everything before already. So, you ready to go? You can hit that mic. Just put it to the middle position. And uh, here we go. We'll taxi it on out. And here we go. So far, I'm liking the AS3X. I don't use any gyros and anything. This one comes with it installed, Spencer, okay. so, you know, it's just, it is what it is, so. And it's nice with it on there. Take it off! There we go, get a little, little bump assist there. All right, I'm just trying to keep it in tight here, folks. I don't want to get too, too far away. Here, I'm gonna come by fast, Spencer, you ready? Yes, sir. Let's Power's coming in. You can see how quick that thing is. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can hear it, too. I've got 100% travel and everything, and that seems to be okay for me. Now, I'm going to drop the flaps, full flaps. Okay. Power's slow off. Flight. I'm adding a little bit. I'm just going to do a little slow flight out here. Power's in. And you can see with this, again, that's why I wanted the missiles. 
because when it's clean, it's harder, way harder to slow this thing down. Oh yeah, it needs the drag. So let me drop gear and flaps. Let's do, you guys have seen speed and everything in the other videos, so mostly I'm just doing landings and stuff here. So I got my power off, I'm dropping it in, I'm adding some power here, and we're gonna see if we can do a landing here without breaking anything. Right on the grass, just nice. Yeah, a little bouncy. Oop. This this is a bouncy. This is not our normal <laughs> runway. So there's some there's some divots that can launch you in the air. So we'll take off again here. Yeah, there's some divots. But hey, we're testing the landing gear, right? That's right. <laughs> you just completed your three takeoffs and landings right, right yeah. there. So that wasn't me. That's the that's the ground, man. <laughs> that's it's a little bumpy. Maybe it's a little smoother farther out. Maybe I'll touch down yeah. a little farther out. Let's try that. So take it off. Where the grass is greener. Yeah, That's it's better. definitely not the smoothest uh, no. smoothest runway for sure, so. It shows the airplane can handle it, so it's important. This thing is fantastic. Tell you what, Spencer, I'm gonna come down into the middle and when I pass you, okay. I'm just gonna go vertical with it. All right. We'll take a look at how vertical, what the vertical's like going up. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just for an EDF, holy smokes, look at that thing go. I'm gonna power it back and let it come down. That's about the most powerful, I think, um, vertical performance I've seen like, in an EDF. And these twin 64s really do give it uh, some good efficiency and they give it some good speed too. Inverted. Let's see if we can bring it around this way. There we go. What do they say don't fly around power lines? All right, let's get gear and flaps down. I'm going to drop it in again. Power's off. I'm letting gravity bring it down. See if we can get it over landing out here without launching it in the air too much here. Let's see. Power's in. I got about a third throttle here. Power's Fire. off. All right, let me get the flaps up for just one second. Now, what we're going to do is just take a quick look how much time we've flown. Can you see the uh, 1473? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's our, our burn. That's how much we've That's used, much out, you've of, used so far. out of a 3200. So we're going to keep okay. going if you're good with it. Yeah. Okay, let's get this going. You ready? Let's All right, on the plane, let me uh, bring it back here a little bit. One setting of flaps. Taxi back. Definitely a good landing gear test today. That's right. <laughs> Shocks are working overtime. Because it's, uh, it'll, I tell you what, a couple of those, it'll launch it in the air when you don't want it to. And Yeah. So here we go. Taking off. In some cases, you hit the bump at the right time, it'll assist getting you up there. Yeah, that was smooth. I'm gonna come by fast this way here. here All right, go. ready. Get low. <laughs> Woohoo! I tell you, this is an aggressive flying airplane. I mean, holy smokes. Great sound, nice and smooth. Back again. Going up, vertical. Look at it go, I'll just hold it up there. Oh yeah. Power off, I'll just let it fall. That's some very good vertical for an EDF. Holy smokes, that's just fantastic. And we're doing this with all the missiles and the bombs. That's right. This is with all the drag. Outstanding. I just love this thing. It's nice to fly. I mean, it's a first plane with an AS3X gyro. I've never flown one. Actually, I've never had one. I've flown them before. But uh, it's a bit of a breeze out today and it's, it's looking very it, stable. It, it helps. That's that's the benefit really of it. I mean, you don't need it to fly it, but definitely it helps you because we actually we do have a direct crosswind here, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> it makes it more enjoyable. You're not fighting the yeah, wind as much. It does. And the right, airplane does have some weight to it. As let's well. bring it in. Yep, that's right. Power's coming back. Yeah, I can feel that wind hitting yep. me right here. Yeah, a bit of a crosswind. Yeah, yeah, I'm going into the wind right here. Too hard on this landing. Keep it about a third to a quarter throttle in. My soft field landings. Nice. I'm trying to not let it float. I want to land it like almost stall because I don't want it to go flying all right. over the darn place. So, but anyway, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, you can flip that top mic all the way, just go all the way down with it. We are down at uh, 2,700 out of 32. So let's take a look. Okay. Can you get it? Yep. All right. 
you can zoom with that too you know here here stay there for a second you can zoom with your zoom use your zoom let's see spencer's getting a camera test today so we'll see uh if they don't like you can stay right there and zoom yeah you don't need to use any of the here let's see we'll get this out of here let's unplug this we're gonna put it on the meter here and see what we got let me get my old guy glasses on here here we go let's get this out of here so I went a little farther into the battery than I wanted, but it seemed to have plenty of power. A lot of times these batteries are underrated. So it's just a little warm, that's it. And then let's put it in the meter. And Spence, you can stay there and you can zoom in here. Uh, let's see. Take a look. Can you get on that? Yeah. You see it okay? We are at 16% uh, and 22.3 volts, 3.7 per cell. So go. we got a hell of a... Uh, is, is it focusing now? Yeah, focusing. yeah sometimes it doesn't focus. But 16%, 22.3, 3.7. So 16 uh, is a little low, but that's still not bad. We're above the curve voltage-wise, so that's probably about perfect. So if you want to look at the time from takeoff, guys, to uh, to touchdown, uh, you know, that'll give you an idea of uh, what the flight time was. And that was... What do you think? I mean, that was pretty long. I think we got a minimum of, I, if I were to take a wild guess, I'll look at it from takeoff to landing, and then from takeoff to landing again, and we taxied in and out a few times. I'd say easily that was probably four minutes of flight, of actual flight time, if not maybe a, a hair more. I'll look at it when we get home. But uh, anyway, folks, we do appreciate you watching. Spencer, thanks for filming today. Be sure, folks, to check out the other videos, the, uh, the unboxing, uh, the build. The, the runway flights uh, that we did on the paved surface. And then please, if you guys, uh, uh, if, if you like the video, if you purchase one down below using our links, it really does help RC Informer out. We do appreciate that. All our videos are free, and we're just trying to give you guys the best information that we can. So anyway, Spencer, thanks again. Appreciate you guys watching. And as always, folks, we'll see you next time.